presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Jungle Jim Bradley, Shanghai Lil, and Ronnie Hawkins escaped from their dangerous position on the bluff overlooking Bhutan's camp when the plane with Captain Carstairs and Lieutenant Rogers appeared overhead and drove Prince Bhutan and the natives back. Shanghai Lil and Ronnie then returned to the cave where Myra Trent and the wounded Peter Hawkins were hiding, leaving Jim at the edge of the jungle to cover their retreat. A short time later, Jim, discovered by one of Bhutan's men, was surrounded and captured. Bhutan then told him that they were leaving together for the Chinese border at once, and that Jim's life would be spared only on condition that the British authorities agreed to grant the wily prince immunity. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full color, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. While Captain Carstairs and his air fleet head back toward Bhutan's camp, the prince and the caravan with Jungle Jim, his prisoner, marches toward the Chinese border. Meanwhile, three figures move through the jungle toward the camp. They're Shanghai Lil, Myra Trent, and Ronnie Hawkins. Keep down. We're getting close and we don't want to be seen. Jim's over this way, Mr. Breel. He was right about here when we left him. Look, there's his machine gun. Why, it's just as it was when we left. I don't like the looks of this. Jim didn't even get time to put this gun together. And look how the grass is trampled down. Something's happened here. Oh, Jim was a fool. He should have come to the cave with us. We've got to find him. Wait. What is it? We may be running into an ambush. There's not a soul in the camp. The kind of his gang is gone. Jim! Jim, where are you? Oh, Ronnie, I'm worried. Suppose something has happened. Don't worry about Jim, Myra. He's able to take care of himself. Oh, but he might have been captured. Come on, let's go up on the bluff where the machine gun was and have a look around. Right. <clears throat> Bhutan and his men haven't had time to get far. We've got to find out which way he went. Bhutan would kill Jungle Jim if he found him. No, I'm not so sure of that, Myra. No? He knows he's in a bad spot. He might figure that Jim could save him. <clears throat> Here's the bluff. It's easier climbing up from this side. Go ahead, Mr. Reel. All right. Myra can follow and I'll come last. Go on, Myra. All right. People all right? Yes. Coming, Ronnie? Careful. Oh. Easy. Right. Come on there, Myra. Hold on. Here you are. Now. Let me have those field glasses, Ronnie. All right. Here. Now look to the north, Mr. Breel. Unless I'm mistaken, Bhutan would have headed toward the China border. That's just what I was thinking. Can you see anything? Wait. Yes. Ronnie, take the glasses. Roger. Look at the valley to the north. Yes. Yes, that's a caravan, all right. Can you make out the two figures on horseback? I can see them, but they're too far away to make them out. Unless I'm wrong, one of them is Bhutan, and the other is Jungle Jim Bradley. Mr. Field. Ronnie, listen. Why, it's Carstairs coming back. Let me use the glasses. Why, there are at least 12 or 15 planes. Yes, I can see them now. Look, some of them are coming this way, and the others are turning off to the east. Those big ones are bombers, Myra. Why, they're making a great circle. Now, if there's no fool, he's throwing a circle of planes around the camp. The scout planes are coming straight here, all right. We've got to get their attention. Keep waving your arms, Ronnie. They've got to see us. Isn't that Captain Carstairs in the plane that's coming in low? Yeah, that's him. See, he's standing up in his cockpit. Oh, if he'd only land. He can't let the can get away now. Don't worry, he won't. Look off to the north. The bombers have sprung out in a long line. The lead plane will be over Bhutan's caravan in two or three minutes more. They're bound to see it. That's just it, Ronnie. Don't you see? The pilots may think that it's only Bhutan and his men. If they should drop a bomb or use their machine guns... Jim will be killed. Captain Costez is circling back. Myra, yes. Have you got a mirror in that purse? Why, yes. Give it to me. Here it is. Now, I'll flash Costez a message. Quick. The bombers are almost over Bhutan's caravan. Oh, it's too late, Mr. Breel. Costez's plane is heading north. 
He's seen us and he knows we're safe. He's going after Bhutan. While Shanghai Lil, Ronnie Hawkins, and Myra Trent have been frantically trying to attract Captain Carstairs' attention, he has been issuing orders to his pilot, Lieutenant Rogers. You will circle the camp once more, Rogers. Yes, sir. Our friends seem to be safe. Evidently, Prince Bhutan and his hillmen failed to return after we drove them off. Yes, sir. The camp seems deserted, sir. Yes, our quarry has flown. Well, it won't take us long to catch up with him. Operative 19 and her friends seem to be waving to us, sir. Yes, so I've noticed. They're no doubt very happy to see us. Do you suppose they have a message? No, I think not. Get a little more altitude, Rogers. I want to have a look through the glasses. But, sir, the people on the bluff seem to be signaling. Perhaps we should go down. I think otherwise, Lieutenant. Give me more altitude. Right, sir. Just as I thought. There is a caravan to the north of us in the valley. Turn on the short range set, Rogers. I want to contact Lieutenant Holbrook. Yes, sir. All ready, sir. You can go ahead now. This is Captain Carstairs calling Lieutenant Holbrook. Captain Carstairs calling Lieutenant Holbrook. Come in, please. This is Lieutenant Holbrook speaking. There is a caravan in the valley below you. I believe it is the one for which we are searching. We've seen them, sir. Good. You will circle and ascertain their exact position. I will then issue further orders. Right, sir. All right, Rogers. Head towards Holbrook's bombing squadron. Yes, sir. Captain Costairs, there's something wrong below us. The people on the bluff are signaling. What's that? I believe they're trying to send us a message by flashing with a mirror, sir. You're right. Swing back toward them. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Holbrook calling Captain Carstairs. I'll take Lieutenant Holbrook's message first. Come in, Holbrook. The caravan below is evidently the one for which we're searching, Captain. It is headed by two mounted men, and there are many native carriers following them. Lieutenant Holbrook, carry your orders. You will drop two bombs in front of the caravan. If they fail to stop, drop the third bomb directly on them. Carry on. Right, sir. Now, Rogers, will you try and make out Operative 19's message? I watched. But I couldn't make it all out, sir. She has signaled something about Jim. Circle low. Right, sir. That'll do. She's starting the message over again, sir. Hold the plane so that I can see that signal. J. I. M. A. Jim. A. Here comes another word, sir. P. R. I. S. O. N. E. Jim. A prisoner. There goes Holbrook's first bomb. Operative 19 is still signaling, sir. She spelled out the word Bhutan. Jim, a prisoner of Bhutan. That explosion we just heard was Holbrook's second bomb. Quick, turn on the short wave set. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Captain Carstairs calling Lieutenant Holbrook. Come in, Holbrook. He doesn't answer, sir. He's got to answer. If he drops that third bomb, he may kill Jim Bradley. Lieutenant Holbrook, this is Captain Carstairs. Hold your third bomb. Come in. It's no use, sir. He doesn't answer. Head for Holbrook immediately at full speed. We've got to stop him. It's... It's too late, sir. Look ahead. Holbrook is diving to release his third bomb now. You're right. There it goes. While this scene has been going on in the air, Jim has been arguing with Bhutan, unaware of the danger which he faces. You hear those planes, Bhutan? I told you you'd never get away with this. Silence, Bradley. Gunha! Yes, master. It may be necessary for me to leave you and go on ahead. 
If that happens, you will be responsible and see that the men carry the goods over the border. But, Master, already they are frightened. If any attempts to escape are made, shoot them in their tracks. The tiger's claw has spoken. It shall be as you order, Master. You might look overhead, Bhutan. You see that bombing plane circling up there? Yes. It is unfortunate that your friends cannot come low enough into the valley to use their machine guns, Bradley. As it is... They will have the pleasure of watching us cross the border into China. They won't wait for you to cross, Bhutan. I think that they will. You and I are the only ones who are mounted. You have been seen by now. <laughs> the fact that I'm with you isn't going to stop them. That would be most unfortunate for you. Look, they've spotted us. You're all through, Bhutan. Do you see that bomb coming? They wouldn't dare. <laughs> Do you still think they're going to let you get into China? Silence! Good heart! Hold the men in line. Yes, master. Your natives have got more sense than you have, Bhutan. They're deserting you. It fools. I will kill the first one who tries to run. Master, we will all be killed. You fool. The English are only trying to scare us. That bomb was dropped a half a mile ahead of us. Then hold your ears, Bhutan. This one is going to be closer. Master, master, the men run. Uh, that will teach them. Bradley and I are going ahead, Gunha. You will lead the men and follow. But, Master, half of them are gone. Then put double loads on those who are left. It will mean your life if you fail. Look at them run for cover. That's a brave crew you've got, Bhutan. You and I are going ahead, Bradley. They'll never capture Prince Bhutan. Master, Master, look above. Run! Look, Bhutan. That plane overhead is diving directly toward us. Wave your arms, Bradley, if you will save your life. Signal to them. Wave, you fool, wave! You forget, Bhutan. My hands are tied. Here it comes! No, no! What happened? Did that third bomb dropped by Lieutenant Holbrook make a direct hit? Have Jungle Jim Bradley and Prince Bhutan both been killed? The adventures you have just heard dramatized will appear in full-color action pictures in next Sunday's Comic Weekly. The big comic weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. In the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure, you will find all the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures. There's the mischief of Skippy and his pals. The Katzenyammer kids. Jigs and Maggie in Bringing Up Father. The Page, Gags and Gals. Barney Google, Toots and Casper. The pathetic antics of The Little King. And the amazing story of Flash Gordon. See all these famous characters in your copy of next Sunday's Comic Weekly. And don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.